let us look at magic squares what is the meaning of a magic square this is a 3 by 3 magic square now we have to add the columns on the rows we can put add it diagonally all the totals should come same that is the meaning of a magic square now if you look at this line here these are the rows so we have one two three rows and we have three columns so that is why we say this is a three into three magic square we can have a four into four magic square or a five into five magic square but what happens in a magic square is the total of all the rows and the columns and the diagonals should all be equal. Now let us examine whether the first one is a magic square or not. Now in this we see the first line here 5, minus 1 and minus 4. Now these are the three numbers. Now when you add this what do you get? Here we find that minus 4 and minus 1 is giving us minus 5 and 5 minus 5 is giving us 0. So the first row is giving us a total of 0. What about the second row? Minus 5 and minus 2 is giving us minus 7 and minus 7 and plus 7 is also giving us 0. What about this? 0 plus 3 is 0, 3 and 3 minus 3 is also giving us 0. So the total of this is also 0. So 0 and 3 is 3, 3 minus 3 is 0. So we see that when we are adding each of these rows, we are getting an equivalent value and that equivalent value in each case is 0. Now look at the columns here. If I am going to add here vertically downwards, these are the columns 5 minus 5, 0, 0 plus 0, we are getting 0 here. Minus 1 and minus 2 is minus 3, minus 3 plus 3, again 0. Minus 4 plus 7 is positive 3, 3 minus 3 again 0. So we find that when we are adding up all the vertical columns, again we are getting zeros. Look at the diagonal, 5 minus 2 is 3 and 3 minus 3 is giving us 0. So this diagonal is giving us 0 again. And what about this diagonal, minus 4 and minus 2 is giving us minus 6 minus 6 plus 0 is minus 6. So here we find in this case we are not getting 0 but as long we are getting here in the rows and the columns. Let us look at the next one. Here 1 minus 4 is minus 3, minus 3 and minus 6 is giving us minus 9. Here if you look total of this minus 10, minus 3, minus 13, minus 13 plus 4 is giving us minus 9 again. Total of this 0, minus 2, minus 2 and minus 7, minus 9 again. So we get minus 9 in each case. 1 minus 10, minus 9, minus 4, minus 3, minus 2. If I add this, I get minus 9 again, minus 4 and minus 3, minus 7, minus 7 and minus 2, minus 9. Minus 6 plus 4 is minus 2 minus 2 and minus 7 we get minus 9. So whenever we are adding the rows and columns and the answer is same in each case we can say that it is an example of a magic square. Now can we design our own magic square? Now suppose the question is design your own magic square such that the total is let us say 15. So we are going to make a 3 by 3 magic square on our own. So we have three rows and three columns in it and we are told that the total should be 15. Now the best way to solve this is that this is a 3 by 3 magic square. So we are going to divide this 15 by 3, we are going to get 5. We know that the total should be 15. So total is divided by 3. So we get 5. So that number we will write here in the center. Then at the corners we will put the even numbers. Now even numbers let us say 2 and another thing that we have to note in the construction of a magic square is that number should not be repeated. So if we are writing 2 here there cannot be any other number 2 here in this magic square. We have to use only numbers 1 to 9 and fill up this. So we have 2 here let us say we put up 4. Now we know that the total has to be 15. So if we have 2 and 4 6. 
so that means this number should be 9 9 and 5 is 14 14 and 1 will give you 15 so this number will be 1 2 and 5 will give us 7 7 and here we the total should be 15 so here we will write 8 because 2 plus 5 is 7 7 plus 8 is 15 look at this diagonal 4 and 5 is 9 so 15 minus 9 we are going to get 6 we add up this we are finding 8 plus 1 9 9 plus 6 15 so this total is okay now 8 and 4 is 12 15 it should be the total so if this is 12 the remaining number here will be 3 5 plus 3 is 8 8 plus something should give you 15 so this number will be 7 so we have constructed a magic square on our own by using the numbers 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 none of the numbers are repeating and if you total it in any manner either in rows or columns or diagonals we find that the total in each case will be 15 so this is an example of a magic square